seek God rather than good. Because Jesus told us in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, he told us the secret of God's kingdom. He says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, that every other thing shall be added unto us. When we seek for the kingdom, he says, seek for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. Please do me a favor to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also my Facebook page. The same name, Anthony Ministry TV. And join me to save lives by sharing this message you are hearing now. Forward it to many of your contacts. God bless you. The Bible makes us to understand in the book of Amos chapter 5, the Lord said to children of Israel, Seek me and live. In this our days, Satan is trying to deceive church and to deceive Christians and to deceive children of God by trying to present gift, what God can give to us, to us, more than God who can, who give those gifts to us. Hallelujah. I want to say that Satan is not really disturbed that we are blessed. Satan is not really angry that we pray and God answer. Don't misunderstand me. Satan is not really offended that we, 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 we ask for favor, God give to us. We seek for miracle, we receive it. But the devil is really concerned that we don't know God himself, the giver of those gifts. If the whole church, if the church is ended up seeking for what God can give, rather than God that gave it those things, oh, that is the highest achievement for Satan. Because Satan is not after things that cannot last forever. Devil have nothing to do with transcend things, mundane things, things that have no power to last for eternity. Satan is a master in business of eternity. So he needs something that have eternal value. That is why Satan is much more interested in making people not to be born again, making people to live in sin. He is not after uh, stopping them from getting wealth and money and favor and children, but to make sure that they live in sin, they can have those things. If devil have ended up achieving this thing in the church, he have a massive turnaround. Hallelujah. You look these days, people are going from one place to another, looking for different preachers, looking for different prophets, looking for different miracle workers, going from mountain to, 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 to desert, looking for, for favor here and there, claiming it here and there, looking for God for, for favor here and there. And they are not looking for God, the giver of those things. Satan's agenda in the life of any child of God is to make sure that that person miss God, don't know God. Look at what God said. He said, let he that want to rejoice, not boast or rejoice on material things, on the things he acquired, on the prayer request, on prayer answered. But let him rejoice that he knoweth and understandeth God. So you see that these days, people normally go to church, people normally go to prophets and pastors because they want to get something from God. They are after gift. They are seeking for what God can give. They are seeking for gold. They are seeking for what God can give. Not God that giveth those things. The Bible makes us to understand in the book of Daniel chapter 3, that Nebuchadnezzar set up a molten image and commanded that every nation will bow down to that molten image. And the Bible said that the whole nation, the whole tribe, the whole language, the whole country, all of them obeyed and bowed down to that molten image. And as I was reading that Bible, I understand that it's not just a physical molten image. By the help of the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit made me to understand that was a, a, a prophetic coded language. That what Nebuchadnezzar set up, what demonic power, what set and set up is wealth and riches that, that everybody in the whole world subscribe to. Because you cannot tell me that a man, uh, a king can set up molten image in US or set up molten image in Nigeria or set up molten image in India or any part of the nation and the whole world will bow down to that molten image. Somebody in his bedroom can worship Almighty God there. Somebody in his kitchen cannot bow down there. Somebody in the toilet cannot bow down there. But this one, whether people in the kitchen, whether people in their bedroom, whether people in far country, in far, far country, different tribe, different language, different race, all of them bow down. The, the, that, that is to say that wealth has power 
to command people. He has power to turn the face of people from God to wealth itself. That is why Jesus said, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing shall be added unto you. But thank God, there, there were three people, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who said that we will seek for God rather than good. We will seek for God rather than good. As I am preaching to you now, he said we cannot bow down to molten image. That is to say we cannot compromise our faith for the sake of wealth, for the sake of material things, for the sake of blessing, for the sake of favor, for the sake of miracle, for the sake of uh, science and wonder. No, we will serve Almighty God, Almighty God, whether He bless us or not. We will serve Almighty God. And uh, we understand that these days people are people are now seeking for gift rather than giver. We must look for giver. That is almighty God. Rather than gift, God can give. I know that God can bless. But we must put God first before blessing. Blessing will never be ahead of God. It is not blessing we'll be looking for. We will look for God who can bless. Who bless? It is not healing we'll be looking for. We will look for God who heals. It is not signs and wonder we'll be looking for. We will look for God who gives signs and wonder. It is not miracle we'll be looking for. We will look for God who giveth miracle. It is not blessing and prosperity and deliverance we'll be looking for. As many people are looking for those things, going from different churches, from one man of God to another man of God, we must look for God who giveth those things. As I said, if Satan end up making the whole children of God to be looking for what God can offer, rather than God that offered those things, we have missed the mark. Look at the story in the book of Luke Gospel chapter 15. The Bible tells us about a man that had two sons. One day, one of his sons said to him, Father, give me my own property. Let me go. I am tired of staying in your house. And his father decided to share the property and gave him his own. But the man, the boy went out and squandered the whole money and he was dying of hunger there. But a day came in, the, in, 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 in verse 18, Gospel of Luke chapter 15 verse 18 now. The boy said, oh, he began to, re he began to remember, oh, my father had many things. My father had this and that. Why would I be here dying of hunger? I will rise and go back to my father. I will go back to my father. And when I go, I will say, father, I am not, and I'm not worthy to stand before you. Neither am I worthy to be your son, but take me as one of your servants. And the Bible said in verse 20, and he arose and went back to his father. Look at where he went back to his father. His father saw him and father coming. His father went after him and hugged him and kissed him. And his father looked at his clothes and discovered that his clothes was tattered. His father said, remove that clothes from him and give him a new one. His father gave him his ring. His father changed his shoe. His father gave him, they corrected him. His father threw for party. Killed the father's cow and they celebrated the returning of his son. Mark me, look at that word of God. This son never tell his father, Father, my clothes is dirty. Father, my shoe is old. Father, I need your, your, your ring. Father, I, I call party for me now. Father, I want to take my bed. No, but his father saw him and knew that his son need those things. That is reason why Jesus said that we all should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness that when we do that that every other thing shall be added unto us hallelujah I want you to know there is power in seeking God rather than material things Satan will try to deceive you but it is when you look for blessing you see blessing it's not true Satan will tell you it is when you look for miracle you see miracle it's not true Satan will tell you, oh, if you did not ask for money, you will not get money. It's not true. Everything ends up in looking for God. When you find God, you find everything. So don't allow Satan to deceive you. From today, make up your mind that you will look for God. You will look for him. The Bible said that with me is life, with me is wealth, with me is, is favor, with me is wealth, with me is riches. Those things are with him. As we are returning back to God in spirit and in truth, oh, we shall see him beyond measure. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Please help me to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my Facebook page at Anthony Ministry TV. Please do so. I love you. See you next of my broadcast. And bye for now.